All right, here we go. Welcome to SRV number four, guys. Bear with me, guys, because we're two men down. I'm gonna to try to keep this episode from going off the rails. First, we're missing my partner behind the camera, Dr. Tyler Davis, because he's so important and he has to go to work and save people's lives. Bros before hoes, man. That actually has no relevance here. That has no relevance in this situation. I just haven't used it in a while. The other man out is Alan, the 2-8 fly reel. That little son of a bitch found the key to my liquor cabinet and went to town last night. Uh, why did I drink so much? I'm dying. He's doing better since I took him apart and cleaned him up, but he's in no shape for the show today. All right, it's fall, and you know what that means. It's Bonita and false albacore on fly time. I've always wanted to get one of those species on fly. It's been on top of my bucket list for some time, uh, but my skiff is way too small. My little Carolina skiff is way too small to take into the channels and it's way too sketchy. So I called Team Money and we took out his beaver tail strike for those little speed demons. So let's look at our day on the water chasing false albacore on fly. Roll it. That only works if somebody's behind the camera. Hold on a second, guys. Tyler gave me some notes on how to get this thing started. Just bear with me. Push this button and then hit the red button. Dude, there's like two red buttons, bro. Is it this one? Maybe it's... So you saw fish? Hang on to this. I'm gonna get a little cray cray. <laughs> They're over there now, Tyler. There, there's another pod way out there. I don't get it. I don't get it. They feel the fly line. What the fuck? I think, I think it's an issue of there's a, a million bait and two flies. Yep, let's just do what we do and keep hammering on them. We'll do this. I just got my backing back, like, into the fly line. He was like, fuck that. He won't give up. Thank God we got a mangrove and not a BBK. Why is the video not on? Tyler, your notes are a mess, dude. It looks like a three-year-old wrote these with a crayon. All right, green button two, and we're back on. All I have to say is if you haven't got one of those on fly yet, put those on the top of your bucket list immediately. They're amazing. 
are actually more difficult than I thought they would be to hook. Uh, in all the videos that you see, there's these giant balls of bait getting blasted by them and you just think it's going to be this blitz. Uh, and it is, but getting to actually eat the fly was a lot harder than we thought it was going to be. The water's just boiling with bait and these little efforts come shooting out of the water, blasting the bait fish. But the school can get actually really spooky. We learned quickly with our first sesh with them is they can actually get pushed down by the fly line. We noticed when we started lining the school, the whole pod would go down and then pop back up about 50 yards away from the boat. It happened over and over and over again until we realized that it was actually the fly line pushing them down. Another thing we noticed is that the motor can put the school off. So what we started doing is getting close to them and then turning the motor off and drifting into casting range. All right guys, SRV number four is in the books. Also subscribe if you haven't yet so you're up to date when the newest episodes come out. You can follow me on Instagram at Spooled Reels and you can follow Dr. Davis at TDRX32. All right guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Son of a...